So in this video I'll be showing you how to make a ridiculously good roasted tomato soup which is really easy to make yet it is full of flavour. If you have seen any of my previous videos you'd know that peak deliciousness is what we aim for every time and this video is no exception. I live in London which means it gets fairly cold here during the months of the winter. Although it doesn't get as cold as some other parts of the country, it's still relatively cold here and soup is an ideal way to help the whole family boost their health as they are generally packed full of flavour and very easy to produce and also very budget friendly. And on that note, today we are going to do a tomato soup, so let's get right into it. So, first up, we'll be cutting a few tomatoes in half and lovingly place them onto an oven tray. Then we want to get a whole bulb of garlic and just cut the top off to expose them and throw them onto the tray with the tomatoes as we'll be roasting them off as well. We now season them with some salt, pepper and drizzle them with about 2 to 3 spoons of olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. You want to set the oven to about 200 degrees celsius, put the tomatoes in for about 25 minutes to half an hour to roast off. So once they're roasting in the oven, you can use this time to chop some vegetables. I have two medium sized onions, two celery sticks, two medium carrots and one chili. It's also worthwhile mentioning that the chili is absolutely optional for this recipe. So just roughly cut your vegetables and set them aside and we'll get to them at a later stage. So here come the tomatoes out of the oven after about half an hour. And now it's time to start softening the vegetables. To start off this process, get a nice glug of olive oil into a pan and go straight in with the chopped vegetables and soften them down for about 8 to 10 minutes until they're all nice and tender. Then season them up with some salt, pepper and some herbs. More specifically, some thyme leaves. The aroma from the thyme is going to be heavenly. Now while the vegetable is cooking away, grab the garlic and squeeze it right out of its skin. Quick wash of hands, then grab a fork and press them together to turn it all into a nice smooth paste. Now it's time to get the tomatoes into a pan and then dollop in the garlic on top. And to that, you want to add about 750 milliliters of vegetable stock or chicken stock if you prefer. Add in some tomato puree for that intense tomato -y taste. And finally, some hot paprika powder for the ultimate deliciousness. At this point, turn up the heat and let the soup bubble away. Okay, so this soup has now been simmering away for about 10 to 12 minutes and all the flavors have now come together. So let's just turn off the heat and grab a ladle and transfer this into a bowl, get a stick blender and blend it all together until it's all nice and really smooth. Now it's time to have a little serve up and just garnish the soup with some chopped basil and a little sprig of thyme and a bit of black pepper for the finishing touches. And here we have it, this is a soup to be proud of. 
Now if you'll excuse me, I have a rumbling tummy to take care of. And before I go, like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, look after yourselves and go feed yourselves some roasted tomato soup.